Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Here is another digital SAT math question. Uh, let's read this question. This is more related to geometry, uh, part of the mathematics. So the function f of w is equal to 6 times w squared gives the area of a rectangle in square feet, feet squared, if its width is w feet and the, its length is 6 times its width. Which of the following is the best interpretation of f14 is equal to 1176? Choice A. If the width of the, of, a, of the rectangle is 14 feet, then the area of the rectangle is 1176 feet square. Choice B, if the width of the rectangle is 14 feet, then the length of the rectangle is 1176 feet. C, if the width of the rectangle is 1176 feet, then the length of the rectangle is 14 feet. If the width, choice D, if the width of the rectangle is 1176 feet, then the area of the rectangle is 14 feet square. So, let's draw one rectangle to solve this question. Okay, here is our rectangle. In the rectangle, uh, the, in the question, they give you that the width is W and the length of the rectangle is 6 times the, its width, which is 6W. Okay. And the area is, of course, to find the area of a rectangle, technically you're supposed to multiply uh, area of a rectangle is length times width, right? So 6w times w will give you 6 v to the power of 2. So in this function, they give you f14. So technically, in this function, fw is equal to 6v squared. Instead of W, what do they put in the function? You need to pay attention to there. They put 14. So technically, you're going to substitute wherever you see W in this function, you will substitute 14. So 6 times 14 to the power of 2 or 14 squared. So this will give you F14 is equal to, when you do the calculation, you will get that it's 1176. So, F14, as it was indicated in the question, so where does this 14 goes into in the function? For the W. So 14 is for the W. W represents in our rectangle the width. So in the choices, so we can just go ahead and, for instance, Look at the choice C. If the width of the rectangle is 1176, the width cannot be that much. First of all, you can just go ahead and eliminate this choice. If the width of the rectangle is 1176 in the choice D, you can go ahead and eliminate uh, this choice as well. But if the width of the choice B, if the width of the rectangle is 14 feet, then the length of the rectangle. No, it's not the length what uh, where the 1176 is. It is the area as it was indicated in the choice A. You can go ahead and choose your answer uh, for this problem as A. But also you can do the just educational guess from this problem. I want to also just mention about a little further. So this 1176, this is given here for the area. So in the beginning of the problem, they already mentioned that this is equal to area. So you cannot like, make it equal to 1176 to width or either the, neither the width nor the length. You can just go ahead and eliminate these choices. So your choices are 50-50 now, A or B. And when you just pay attention in here, the length cannot be 1176, 
Because of that, your answer will be A. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. You'll thank me later.